और इस पे विचार करके इस बिल को पारित करें धन्यवाद द फर्स्ट स्पीकर श्री सप्तगिरी उलका प्लस थैंक यू चेयरमैन सर आर आइज टू स्पीक ऑन द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन सेल कास्ट एंड सेल ट्राइव वाटर्स अमेंडमेंट बिल 2024 which categorizes certain tribes from andhra pradesh and uh, odisha scheduled tribes including some pvtgs and uh, before i start on this bill sir we would like to request from you that andhra pradesh we need uh, special category status this we have been demanding for multiple times and the central government has been ignoring the genuine demand of andhra pradesh so because of the reorganization act we need the special category status and special focus it is for andhra pradesh sir when i come to the bill let me give you a background sir in india we have around 730 scheduled tribes according to article 342 75 pvtgs we constitute 8.6% of the population and this is from 2011 uh, census if we look 140 crore now 8.6% is around 12 crore adivasi throughout the country there was specific criteria like who can be a scheduled tribe i will list that is indication of primitive traits distinctive culture geographical isolation sinus of contacts with the community at large and backwardness we were in government previously also and there used to be a procedure where a jpc was constituted mps were part of it both the houses and they used to visit places site visit everything and they used to check these criteria they used to recommend ki who is scheduled tribe who is not but what i'm seeing is uh, uh, last 4 uh, 5 years we started with himachal pradesh tamil nadu karnataka and i think we have included almost 150 to 200 tribes or scheduled tribes and i will uh, talk about odisha anyone who goes to odisha to demand a tribal status they have already they send it to central government and recommending so they have sent around 180 tribes to be considered as scheduled tribes from odisha government and this naturally raises a concern if all the cases are genuine or not and uh, the process i will explain sir how it happens is first recommended by the state government then is concurred by rgi register general of india the national commission for sts and then the ministry comes with a bill where a scheduled tribe can be accorded status to a particular tribe previously sir in himachal pradesh i had raised this concern also in the bill itself they said this section of people from this community are scheduled tribe and this section of people they don't want to be scheduled tribe give them scheduled caste how is it possible sir is there proper verification happening this is a concern of all tribals if you make everyone tribal where will the tribals go if due consideration due norms have been followed or not this is a main concern for us and in this particular bill sir i'll talk about jhodia community jhodia community i've raised this issue also multiple times they have been demanding as inclusion of or jhodia as synonym of porja at serial number 55 in schedule tribe list of odisha there are about 1 lakh people in undivided koraput district and some parts of kalandi who are this jhodia tribe sir so they used to get tribal status till 1997 but what happened in 1997 because of industrialization you can't acquire the tribal land so in the registry the tehsildar and the officers they used to write they are non tribals because of that they have been removed they are same as jhodia poraja now in this particular i'll show you in serial number 55 they have included the solia poroja self inserted namely baran jhodia poroja baran jhodia poroja is spelling correction sir but if you look the middle word is jhodia and if you don't include jhodia in this particular list this tribal community can never get this tribal status and they are genuine tribal sir and uh, this is the entry number 55 which has been required and uh, uh, i in uh, like welcome durwa and uh, dora community nakadora and all andwadi korabu district they have been also demanding and uh, this is a genuine demand and rest i would request through you sir like a proper verification to be done if all the cases are genuine tribes or not because this concern is there we have a limit on reservation and it's 50% limit total st sc obc and ews is a separate if you include there is no inclusion of financial uh, memorandum also they saying that with the same budget we will make tribal so from 12 crores if it goes to 15 crores tribal then we need equal representation as well sir i'll talk about a few issues this people are now tribals but i want to explain what is happening in this country and this has to take cognizance what will happen to them so the biggest problem for tribals is displacement land alienation jal jungle zameen jo hum log kehte hain ye sabse badi samasya hai sir 
I'll give you ankara deta hu sir aapko 80% log jo displaced hote hain wo adivasi hote hain and hum log ka jo total population mein bhagidari hai only 8.6% we are only 8.6% tribals but 80% of the tribals get displaced because of development projects and what is happening from 2014 they tried to dilute the land acquisition and compensatory act they tried to dilute it they were stopped back now they diluting forest right act forest right act was a flagship program of upa government where the tribals we used to give them land like if they are cultivating in a particular land they staying in a forest land we used to give them fra what is happening sir 10 years they trying to come with kampa compulsory afforestation climate change they trying to do they not settling the forest right claims there has been 80% rejection of claims and this is happening after 2014 dramatically sir the third important attack is the privatization of psus <laughs> sir we have tribal uh, reservation policy in jobs and all but if you don't have psus then there is no way you, you will utilize your reservation nagarnar steel plant buster nmdc they trying to disinvest that uh, the steel plant in vizag they trying to disinvest that nalco if you talk about nalco they trying to disinvest that through direct hook or direct means so if the psus are disinvested we created psus so the country the we congress party we created psus so that we can take care of the tribals the sc minorities and all and this is one big attack on the tribals so the closure of schools what is happening is small schools they are doing cluster and they are closing the schools and they developed a model called factory school sir if you uh, like uh, you have read recently in canada and australia the government they apologized to the indigenous people because of the boarding schools they were brought out of their town they were brought out of their villages they were given education boarding school they lost their identity completely they lost their culture completely this concept of factory schools they take the our children the tribal children from villages in interior areas they get them educated in cities and sir uh, the sponsor of the schools are mining mafias big industrialists the man is the adan is they sponsor this big factory schools and slowly our culture is getting diluted sir implementation of roster system this is a very important point which uh, has been always the demand of the sts the obc people now if you have some vacancy in uh, be it central university or any opportunity this roster system was always subdued and some way what they will do that this seat if stsc is available the roster system not filled they say that we don't find qualified people and in turn what they do they put general people in this thing so this i think the government is claiming that they have started enforcing the roster system after 2019 but i doubt it sir now what is happening is if they don't get permanent employees they go contractual employees contractual employees again the stsc obc they don't have any reservation system the biggest uh, fraud which is happening here is uh, the budgetary allocation the tribal sub plan the st sub plan sc sub plan i'll give you sir this i have uh, taken a cognizance i have checked with various ministries 50% of the schemes around 46 schemes which are general in nature with no physical targets for sc and st this is meant tribal sub plan tribal uh, sc sub plan this meant that you need to have physical target which will cater to st and sc people but unfortunately sir this is not happening they have schemes the ministry is utilizing the money but nothing is there i'll say higher education we have 200 or 250 crores for iits have been sanctioned to ensure that phd students get uh, like uh, they get educated 85 to 90% of the phd seats for st sc is vacant sir where is the money going because there is no physical target you can't compare so that is going to waste the biggest challenge is sir the the diversion of stlc welfare funds as deemed exception if you see a particular uh, project like if it's supposed to be for stsc this will be diverted to other area where flyovers will be built roads will be built and they said this is a deemed expenditure which is happening again in the background the another important point in attack is the lack of legislative framework for implementation of scst schemes this has lacked uh, this has led to the lack of implementation almost all the schemes we need a legislative framework sir and also a tribal policy we have been demanding this for a multiple times eklavia model school around 75% are vacancies we have only buildings but no teachers available there inclusion in the finance system sir this is a very important point as a tribal i can't sell my land to non tribal that's fine mai pura theek hu sir ki mai landless nahi hona chahiye 
सर लेकिन मुझे बैंक लोन नहीं दे रहा मेरा जगह है उसको डेवलप नहीं कर पा रहा हूं मैं पढ़ाई के लिए नहीं मिल रहा शादी के लिए नहीं मिल रहा एंटरप्रेन होने के लिए नहीं मिल रहा एक भी आदिवासी एंटरप्रेन कहीं दिखेगा नहीं सर आपको क्योंकि बैंकिंग सिस्टम हमें एक्सेस ही नहीं है दस फाइन यू कम विद सम पॉलिसी बट वॉट हैपन आवर स्टेट गवर्नमेंट ये बोले कि सारे आदिवासी आप भेज दो ना आदिवासी को ये क्या सोल्यूशन है द ट्राइबल एडवर्सरी काउंसिल वो कभी बैठते ही नहीं है दिस इट वंस एयर और वंस इट फाइव ईयर्स वॉट इज हैपनिंग इन ट्राइबल एडवर्सरी काउंसिल नो वन नोज ट्राइबल एडवर्सरी काउंसिल दे सपोजेटली रिकमेंडेड दैट ट्राइबल्स कैन सेल लैंड टू नॉन ट्राइबल्स वी कंडम इट सर दिस इज नॉट द सोल्यूशन बट द प्रॉब्लम यू नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड नहीं होगा ऐसे ही रहेगा तो हम लोग कभी आगे नहीं बढ़ेंगे आपको प्रॉब्लम भी समझना पड़ेगा मेरा जगह है वो पड़ा रहता है एटलीस्ट सरकार को आगे आके हम लोग की मदद करनी चाहिए बिकॉज सरकार वही कर रही है लैंड एक्विजन फॉर भारत माला फॉर माइनिंग प्रोजेक्ट फॉर इंडस्ट्रीज हमारी जगह तो ले रहे हो आप पचास हजार रुपये एक खरीद के ले रहे हो आप तो एक आदिवासी मैंने अपनी जगह डेवलप करना है तो मुझे बैंक से नहीं तो सरकार से कुछ दीजिए सर आई एम द फर्स्ट स्पीकर गिव इट टू फाइव मिनट्स ऑल कंप्लीट Oh, he is making the pertinent points. Let him. Okay. Yes. Sir, I am. I am a tribal community, but I am telling the problems. And this ten important points are something which the government, please, central please. government, has been trying to minimize this. They are trying to dilute all the laws. They are trying to dilute PESA. They are trying to dilute fire forest riot act. So PESA gram sabas now fake gram sabas are happening. In Chhattisgarh, when the government came into power, immediately they started deforestation. Hasio. हिल्स का हस्तियों जो रीजन है यही हो रहा है सर ट्राइबल्स को यहाँ पे चढ़ा देते हैं कि हम आपको ये ये पद दिए हैं हमारी अधिकार एक एक करके सब हटाए जा रहा है एंड द लास्ट नेल इन द कॉफिन विल बी यूनिफॉर्म सिविल कोड उत्तराखंड में ये लेके आए हैं जब यूनिफॉर्म सिविल कोड यहाँ आएगा हमारी सभ्यता हमारी कल्चर हमारी संस्कृति पूरा खत्म हो जाएगा सर एंड हमारी जो आई टोल्ड सेवन फिफ्टी ट्राइब्स एट अराउंड एटी और पी हमारी क्या संपत्ति है सर हमारी सभ्यता है हमारी कल्चर है परंपरा है हमारी भाषा है हमारी नाच गाना है यही सब को आप एक एक करके ये दस पॉइंट जो बोला हूँ आप देख रहे हो कि ये कैसे करके खत्म होगा आप रिजर्वेशन तो डायरेक्टली खत्म नहीं कर सकते हो अब ये चला है कि जितने भी डिमांड आए सबको आदिवासी बना दो दे शुड बी चेक्स एंड बैलेंसेस विद दिस सर आई वेलकम द डिसन टू इंक्लूड दुरुआ दोरा एंड झोड़िया आई वो रिक्वेस्ट लाइक आप लोग ये करो बट आइडेंटिकली ये ये बिल हर सदन में आता है तो वॉट आई से यू शुड कंस्टिट्यूट ए जे पी सी एटलीस्ट एम पी एस को उसका मेम्बर बनाओ हर जगह पे पूरा देश भर में जो जो ये जेनुइन डिमांड्स है इसको कंसिडर करते हैं एंड सबको देखते हैं कौन एक्चुअली आदिवासी कौन नहीं है चेक्स एंड बैलेंसेस भी होगा अभी मुझे पता नहीं है आर जी ए ने क्या दिया क्योंकि इलेक्शन से पहले उस स्टेट का बिल आ जाता है तो आई डोंट एग्जैक्टली नो वट हैपन्स आई एम श्योर द गवर्नमेंट विल टेक कॉग्निजेंस द मिनिस्टर ऑनरेबल मिनिस्टर He is a tribal leader, and he will take cognizance and ensure that the tribals are not facing any injustice. With it, I like to thank you so much for giving me this opportunity, sir. Thank you. Now the minister wants to intervene, Mr. Dharmendra Pradhan. Thank you, Adhyaksh ji. Today, the government is.